So here we have a very crude demonstration of the mechanical advantage that we would gain by having the tape running uh, towards the end of the limb uh, generally, or basically what we're doing is getting a longer lever arm or a greater distance from the axis of rotation on the fulcrum to where the tape is exerting its, its uh, force. So you can see here when we actually go from the ends, if we actually stretch that down, we get quite a strong effect. Okay, It moves through a greater distance and it moves it uh, much quicker. In the next video we will show you what happens when we do the same thing uh, with half the uh, distance from the axis of rotation. You'll see we don't get the same effect. So you will have observed in the last example that we applied the tape basically with what you would consider as sort of the body part, if you like, in the short position, so in this sort of position. In this case, we've applied it with the body part more in a lengthened position. Now, you'll see there we have put some stretch on it so that there is some elastic effect, but even in this position, if we do stretch it all the way into the outer range, the elastic recoil or that mechanical effect is diminished when we compare it with the initial example. That's why with the dynamic taping techniques, most of the time we are applying with the tape in that short position so that we can make use of that mechanical advantage. This is a fundamental difference from some of your other taping techniques and the tape, the dynamic tape has been especially designed to allow it to be applied in a short position with stretch on it and still to achieve full range of movement. So in this example, we've reduced the dimensions by 50%. So we now have half the lever arms, or the length of the lever arms in both directions, and uh, consequently the tape is half as long as well. So we can see with this example here, as we let go, you can see that actually the tape is having to work quite hard just to hold it there. So it's working much harder than what, it was, uh, what was the case with our initial example. Then when we stretch it, Okay. We still get an effect, we still get quite a bit of springiness coming back in, but the effect is that it's slower and less magnitude than what we're seeing uh, when we had the tape connected to the end. So for this reason it's important when we are applying the dynamic tape, firstly we apply it in the shortened position as we said, but then also we apply it along the length of the lever or as far as we can down the lever to increase that mechanical effect as much as possible. For this reason it's important when you are applying your tape to pay close attention to the axis of the joint and the line of pull to ensure that you're actually introducing or contributing this force in the direction that you actually want and not uh, in a direction contrary to what you